Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be talking about, in this Airsoft deep dive and review, the Action Army AA or AAP-01. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there on this pistol. Everybody knows about it, but we might as well kind of put our opinion out there and see if it's any different. Uh, so, let's get into it. Some first things to talk about. This pistol comes in at $99, and for a gas blowback pistol, that is incredibly cheap some things to keep in mind. It is a complete polymer plastic exterior. There's very little metal to this gun. It can be a pro or con based on how you look at it, but uh, some really, really important things to mention is that out of the box, it comes with the ability to do semi and auto that you can control right there by pulling the bolt back. Not a lot of pistols have that ability to say they do, and another thing is that they use Elite Force Glock mags whether that be standard, extended, or drum mags. And not only, and this is me saying not only multiple times, the ability to modify this gun is so incredibly diverse on the market. It can take a lot of Glock aftermarket parts as well as converging, conversion kits specifically for this gun that you can turn it into a carbine, rifle, and upgrade the internals to hell. But what about the stock version? Well. The stock version of this pistol, out of the box, is pretty good. There is some gripes about the hop-up not being dialed properly, and you might have to do a little bit of work on that. You might also want to change the bucking stock, but other than that, there, this pistol works pretty damn well. Uh, even out to about 120 feet, you can reliably hit shots quite well. The action being so light and small makes it have very little room to jam or get stuck or caught on anything. It feeds well, and the Glock mags, there are some good Glock mags and some bad ones, but the safety is also very simple and rudimentary, but it just works. That's the safety there, click it back out, clicks like this. It's got a ambi uh, bolt catch here, so you can either do it from this side or this side here. It's got illuminated uh, fiber optic sights, but the ability to uh, put a rail on the top or bottom here, and it comes with those rails actually out of the box. Another thing to know, to uh, mention, is that it does have a thread on the front of the uh, pistol here, and that the orange tip is actually a cap like this here. This cap is plastic, and the threads are plastic as well, so you want to be very careful that you don't break the threads when you're trying to take the cap off to put suppressors or whatnot on the pistol. Uh, the takedown for this pistol is very, very simple. There's a back button right here. You press that, and the tab of the pistol comes off, and there's the two pieces here. To disassemble it further, you can unscrew these two screws here to take the front barrel off, as well as the hop-up, and then you can take the side off to be able to access and take out the nozzle. Another thing to mention about this gun is it's single action only, meaning you cannot long pull the trigger to fire. I got my glove stuck in the damn thing. You cannot long, so it's not clicking because the hammer is already down. You have to do this, click, click. Try to do it now, won't fire. Single action only. That can be a problem sometimes if you do have any issues where it doesn't go all the way back, that you do have to pull the mag out so you don't double load, relock the bolt, put the mag back in, and then you're ready to shoot. I think I've pretty much talked about everything that I can think of off the top of my head, so let's get to shooting it. We're back here out at the range, and we're going to test shoot the AAP-01. We're going to start out with semi first and see how well I can do with that. So, as you can see, there was a little bit of deviation with quick, ra rapid shots, but 
I also dialed the uh, hop up for point twos and I'm using point two fives. So you might want to actually crank up that bucking on the hop up a little bit more for point two fives because you can kind of see it already starting to drop way back out there. Uh, I kind of used up all the ammo on this mag, so I'll just take a moment to refill and we can see how well I can hit stuff with full auto. We're back and all loaded up again with a uh, short mag. And we're gonna switch this pistol to full auto here. As you can see here, I don't know if it'll zoom in and say there's an A and a one symbol. I can't see it. Okay, but uh, flick to the left for semi, flick to the right. Sometimes it can be a little stiff for auto. Set to auto now and let's see if we can hit those targets in some short control, uh, controlled bursts. So you can kind of hear that kind of popping noise as I was going through the mag. The gas efficiency of going full auto with this pistol is a lot less than semi. And that's just probably due to it reciprocating so much and putting out more gas than it needs while it's going back so fast. So let's see if I can actually, actually no. We went through the whole entire mag, never mind. See how, how, how much gas is left in this mag. Hmm. And we're out. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, to recap on this pistol, for its price at $99, and considering how many aftermarket parts there are available for this gun and the wide availability of mags and different mag types, I would highly recommend this pistol to anybody who just wants a good, reliable blowback pistol at a reasonable, cheap price. Uh, it's honestly the best choice for a blowback pistol that you can get in Airsoft currently. The wide range that you can upgrade this pistol to in terms of turning it into a DMR SMG is it's just crazy what you can do with this pistol and this is probably something people have said all over the place so um, that was our video for today thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one